So is it true that you can't ever let your Siberian Husky off its lead and that it's impossible to train really good recall with a Siberian Husky? Well, that is exactly what we're gonna talk about in today's video. Welcome back to the Fenrir Husky Show. If you are new here, my name's Will. I'm a canine behaviorist and I'm the founder of FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to teaching you everything you could ever want to know about the glorious Siberian Husky. So if you're a lifetime lover of the breed, if you're just about getting into them, or maybe you've just got your own Siberian Husky puppy, I promise you there's going to be something here on this channel for you. So start your amazing journey with this incredible breed by hitting that subscribe button and turning on the notification bell so you never miss another one of our Siberian Husky videos. Now as a canine behaviorist and especially one here on YouTube and we've got our main channel the Femre Canine Show and all of our other channels we do millions of views a month which relates to thousands of emails messages and comments every single day from a wide variety of every different breed imaginable with every different common problem and very niche problem imaginable. Now what's very interesting on my point of view is I get to definitely see the themes that come up over and over again with certain breeds. Now when it comes to the Siberian Husky there is two very common themes. One's about them pulling on walks which we'll discuss in a separate video and then the second one is around recall with Siberian Huskies which is exactly what we're going to talk about today. Now before we do I want to let you know that if you didn't already you know one of the first dog breeds that I ever rescued and rehabilitated myself was a Siberian Husky. We did such great work with her that my parents fell in love with her and she still lives with them to this day. Her name's Kira. She's featured on this channel all of the time. Now, even myself as a canine behaviorist and not to be big headed, but I take pride in my ability of working with different dogs. I have never and will never let that dog off its lead. Now, that is a decision that I make and it's a decision that many Siberian Husky owners make even very high level experienced canine leaders have been able to raise their Siberian Huskies from a very young age and that is simply because the stereotype around a husky being difficult to train a really good solid recall is completely true now the problem is that as with anything in life there's always going to be people that have exceptions to this rule and people that can demonstrate that they have a perfect recall with their husky and training the recall doing that physical recall work is definitely doable with a husky and definitely something that i'd recommend you doing as part of your training program with your new siberian husky what i wouldn't do is ever then try and utilize that recall out in wide open spaces that aren't securely fenced in where you can have complete control of all of the variables now this offers us two challenges first of all it might not be as fun to see so many dogs off playing and us not to be able to let our siberian huskies join them second of all siberian huskies are up there with one of the breed that needs the most amount of exercise in the entire world so not being able to let them off their lead and run can cause complications and it being much more difficult to really thoroughly exercise this breed and as we know a dog that hasn't released all of its pent-up energy both mentally and physically will then start to display often quite serious behavioral difficulties so it leaves us very much in kind of a catch-22 situation so my advice is to always work on recall especially in the home and in your secure garden if you have one working on recall is a fun experience with your dog it's excellent obedience with your dog and it's really good way to build the relationship with you and your dog and it's definitely something as a Siberian Husky owner I would 100% recommend you do and a lot of the clients I work with we do do a lot of work on recall now I do often do it utilizing a long line lead so that we can ensure success it's something that we discuss a lot in kind of our online resources that you can find down in the description box below but just because Huskies are renowned for being very difficult to train recall does not mean that we shouldn't do it and that's something that I really want to stress in this video but moving forward okay we do that now is there any areas where they have kind of big wide open spaces that are very securely fenced there's a couple local to us where you can go and pay for an hour and you can go there's acres there's a, a big field that's kind of three acres in size really big fun field but it's got nine foot fences all the way around that are super secure I would be more than happy taking my Siberian Husky there and letting her off a lead and really allowing her to stretch her legs because even if recall isn't uh, perfect and the problem with Siberian Huskies is that they love to run they have a very high prey drive and they also have extreme levels of kind of wanderlust and they just want to run 
So once you give them that opportunity, it can be quite difficult to bring them back. But if you're in a secure location, that's not necessarily as much of a concern because over time you can eventually find a way to get them back to you and they're not going to run out into traffic or chase down other animals or those kind of things. So I definitely think that if you want to be able to let your dog off its lead and really to be able to run, try and find a place that offers a solution like that. Now, if you go to a place that doesn't have that, you can certainly utilize a long line lead. I'm not a huge fan of extendable leads, but I do think a long line lead can be an excellent tool especially with a Siberian Husky and that'll allow them to at least have certain free range where they can stretch their legs and play with other dogs and even if you drop the long line on the floor as long as it's within reach that you can pick it up should something go wrong we then have control back with our Siberian Husky so that's kind of the next thing that I recommend for people but that might not be the best solution in terms of being able to exercise a Siberian Husky so what I recommend to the clients that I work with with Siberian Huskies is finding a different and unique unique fun way that we can really provide those high levels of exercise for a Siberian Husky because if we're simply just walking the dog you will get tired long before a Husky will and you might find you could go out for two or three hours come home and the Husky hasn't even scratched the surface of what it's capable of so what I like to recommend people do is a couple of things one is that you can train a dog to run on a treadmill there's definitely some safety precautions and what I think I'll do is I'll do a YouTube video and I'll show you me training my Siberian Husky that lives at my parents Kira how to run on a treadmill and how to do it in a safe effective fun and positive way if you've got space for a treadmill in the garage or in a spare room that can be an excellent opportunity to really allow you an easy way to blow off the energy now that should never replace going out for a walk but with a high energy breed like a husky it can allow us to supplement it and top it up to those extreme levels that a breed like a Siberian Husky needs. Now, there's other things I really recommend. I've personally done a lot of mountain biking with a Husky. There's sports like Connie Cross that you can do running, you can do it on wheeled sled buggies if you don't have the snow. If you do have access to snow, you can do it on actual sleds or you can do it on a mountain bike. You have to, you can get special harnesses that are really safe for the Husky, uh, special attachments for your bike or for the, like I say, for the, uh, the chariot type type thing that they look like or the sleds so that the ropes don't get wrapped up in the wheels there's lots of different really fun ways that you can exercise a Siberian Husky that really taps into that innate desire for them to run and for them to pull and it can be an excellent way for you to build relationships with your Siberian Husky so if you feel a little bit bad about not really letting your Siberian Husky run and do what it was bred to do and you're worried that because the recall issues that do come with Siberian Huskies don't let that you put you off from being able to find fun and creative ways to exercise your dog 100% do recall training but be very very careful and I would always recommend not letting them off if it's not in an area where you know it's secure and then for those extreme levels of exercise utilize things like a treadmill or go and look into registering at a club or getting involved in it just yourself of doing some biking with your dog doing some sled pulling with your dog there's tons of different ways that we can really tap into burning the energy that doesn't require you going out for six seven eight hour walks every single day now i hope that helped it might not have been the answer that people wanted a lot of people want to come to me to make sure that their siberian husky does have a perfect recall and unfortunately often is the case with this breed that that isn't possible but like i say if you love the breed, if you want to bring the breed into your home, with every breed there's exceptions that we need to make and there's things that we need to put into place to be able to manage the individual characteristics of this breed. And the Siberian Husky, recall is definitely one of them. Now, if you've got any other questions whatsoever about this incredible breed, make sure you put them down in the comment section below and I'll be more than happy to help you out in any way that I can. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe so that you never miss a future episode of the Fenrir Husky Show.